Well, I'll be damned. Everything showed up at once. What's up, everybody? Welcome, 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 welcome back to the Savage Land. Um, welcome back to another episode of Soapbox, man. It feels like I've been gone forever. It feels like an eternity, but it's only been a week and a half. And yes, today on Soapbox, no, it's not a cop out. It's another uh toy haul, man. Um, I just had one two weeks ago, and that's what the last episode of Soapbox was about. But soon as that one came. G.I. Joe uh, went bananas and from a bunch of different sites flooded my pre-orders all at once except for one and that was Lady J that was supposed to be due out in April everybody else came like last week um, so I just want to go through those individual figures and I also want to talk about X-Men 97 that'll kind of be like a hot topic or whatnot discussion to go with so not gonna be long I'm not gonna hold you long what I am gonna do is show you each individual figure um, I got on the uh, haul and I will be doing um, a separate review for each one of these figures that I show I'm not gonna do like last time I bunched them up because a lot of my uh, my toy haul from last time uh, uh, was, was figures that had been out man throughout the year but all of these figures are, are fairly new the every most of the majority of people have just got them so we'll start with the non GI Joe first and I'll just talk about each figure and uh, then we'll go through the GI Joe last and then we'll go through our hot topic so First up, we have uh, Scarlet Spider, Ben Riley Spider-Man. Don't know if that uh, flash is in there, but good looking damn figure. I like the way the buck looks, looks nice and beefy. I believe he has the Renewal uh, uh, Vows body uh, with the articulated feet and uh, got all the good articulation and the abdomen. Uh, and he looks really good, man. Comes with all the hands, fists, thwip hands, and wall crawling hands. And of course he has the articulated toes. Um, actually, uh, today I seen another one in GameStop. I had two already that I ordered, and this came from Big Bad Toy Store. I was gonna open one up, and uh, of course have one mint on card because I, I li actually like these card backs, these retro card backs. But I wanted to put some Ninja Nikes on the Scarlet Spider Man, and if I messed up, I just wanted just to have one, almost kind of not necessarily to throw away, but to kind of experiment on just in case something crazy happened. And it was crazy I seen them in GameStop because you usually don't see something like a figure like this hot in GameStop like that, but I must have just caught him. So we got the Scarlet Spider here. I already got it opened up. Definitely gonna do a review on that. Um, keeping it Spider-Man themed, this is the best MCU uh, Peter Parker that I've seen, the Tom Holland. And this is the final swing, Spidey. Uh, Jay's Figs on Instagram actually put some uh, Ninja Nikes on him. He put the uh, Morants on him. They look pretty good. But I'm gonna go with the Scarlet Spider. I know a lot of people are saying like, why he has articulated feet, but Articulated feet is cool, but sometimes it isn't everything and that's why I brought a third one to do that But this uh, spider-man here looks really good. Um, I like the colors. He pops very well He got a great head scope. I don't know if you guys can see that through there, but that's Tom Holland right there This is the best MCU spider-man uh, in a suit and head scope that uh, I've seen so far. So good-looking fig um, Also, um, that came from Big Bad Toy Store too also and this came from Big Bad Toy Store Ken was ready to go. And all these figures kind of flooded in the last two weeks. I think I only had one. I think that was a swarm horde that had been sitting up for like a month. But Ken came in. Ken out of uh, Ken and Ryu is my favorite. Uh, I like him in that 1994 animation uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. It was, that was just a really cool movie. And I just really like the scene when he's pushing the Porsche and it sounds like he listening like to Pearl Jam or something. It shows him in like in Seattle, San Francisco, Pacific Northwest where that music originated out of. And I just thought that was a dope movie. But overall, who I uh, adapt to more is my, is my boy Ken. Can't wait to open him up, do a review on him also. And kind of like middle ground over to G.I. Joe, I picked up another Swarm Horde. I thought I had some more up here, but I got a nice little squad of these now. This is my second. I have a glow in the dark, and then I also have the uh, regular silver and kind of highlighter yellow Swarm. So I need one more glow in the dark, and I have a nice set of five of these uh, Swarm Hordes. This is by far one of uh, Valiverse's best figures right here. I don't mind buying these right here. And even though I'm not a big fan of the wings, they're kind of growing on me. They're not horrible. I just think it's stupid. I thought they should have more of the jet pack, which they have in the middle here. Like, based a rocket pack design more on this. And it's kind of almost ironic because Valiverse kind of goes more for realistic, but this is so fucking far from realistic. Like, this type of ordeal um, that, it, that it's almost kind of like... Uh, I don't want to say an oxymoron or whatnot, but let's get to the good part of this figure. This is a great figure. 
being a Valiverse figure, this is their best original, original design that they've came out with. This is a figure you can put plug and play in a lot of different scenes, whether it's G.I. Joe, whether it's Marvel, whether it's, uh, I want to use it with my Sentinels because they have like that robotic look to it. And it's just a great figure, well built, great design on it, man. And I just had to pick up another one of these. All right, so let's get into uh, G.I. Joe. Uh, what came in through Amazon and that all of this really pretty much right here is big bad toy store um, And some of these Joes too, but these are Amazon Joes Duke came in Duke looks Really really good. This is Duke right here. This is uh, what's his name Conrad uh, Conrad Hauser This is a uh, this is Conrad right here. Uh, the other Duke is uh, Luke He's like his little brother or something the one they originally came out with I actually like that Duke I think that's a dope looking Duke. I think that was a great spin on him, but I think I'd much rather have him, not even never say have him, I'd much rather call this guy Duke than the original one that we came out, but still two great figures, man, to be honest, which I can't knock either one of them. Uh, we got an original uh, Ricondo right here. Ricondo and his original uh, outfit, of course, is on the OG original car back. Another Amazon uh, order that came early. The only one that didn't come early for me on Amazon was Lady J. And I'm good. I, I Man, I, I, I'm good. They, they swamped me on this one. They swamped me on this one. I can wait on Lady, Lady J until April. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm cool with that. But as far as Ricondo, he looks really good um, in his regular outfit. And he also looks good in the Tiger Force outfit. This is one of the only ones I can say that each outfit to me is evenly matched. I can have them either way. And almost Tiger Force is almost kind of the better looking outfit, to be honest with you. And with these reviews, when I individually do them, since everybody has pretty much done them already, you guys know how I get down. I'm never really the first or anything, not at all, really ever. What I want to do is have fun with them. And what I'm going to do is bunch them up in a different uh, scenes with their uh, different counterparts or uh, the different. Uh, uh, colorway that they came out with and just trying to have some fun with them man I, I never opened up my uh, original Scarlet so what I'll probably do with her is just do a bunch of really nice females that have came out in the past couple of years and kind of group her in with those man but original Wakanda OG on the car back came from Amazon uh, this right here is oh big bad no 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 this is Hasbro Pulse Hasbro Pulse Techno Viper I really like this figure. I think this is a one of the best looking uh, Cobra troop builders, and he's really not even a troop. He's just kind of like a guy who um, who works on this stuff, works on the his tank, just kind of like a mechanic around the has a little robotic look. Almost kind of reminds me of the uh, Crimson. Uh, is it Crimson? Yeah, Crimson Guard with that face mask uh, that he has on. But dope looking figure. Nice hue. Nice purple on it. Plasma gun looks really nice. Just very different. From all the other Cobra Troopers, man. The crazy thing about them is you can't, I necessarily can't see me having like 50 of these. I mean, I, I think I'm good with like three of them. I have two more on pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store. Of course, they didn't drop yet and they can hold. Hold them shits. Hold them shits. I'm good with this one for right now. Hold them other two until April. With the other two that's coming, I'll have three purple and the one black and red with the HMS. And uh, I think I should be good with that so far. Not unless they come on a stupid deal, I'll buy a couple of more because it's actually a really good looking figure in package. And every figure I just showed you looks really freaking good in package, man. They look very delicious. Um, oh, it's my boy uh, Franklin Talltree. Can't wait to put him in uh, some pictures with uh, Charlie Iron Knife old spirit there and i got spirit switched up to some tiger force pants that i've been wanting to do for a year and that was almost a debacle over the past two weeks um i actually broke the pelvis and i had to like take a pelvis from a duke uh tiger force duke the original one i snatched it off of, put those pants back on melt the knob that's below spirit and kind of jam him in there and i made it worry that he's not coming apart i just kind of let him sit let that rubber plastic ooze inside that hole Hit him with a little bit of uh, of the blow dryer, kind of let that just settle in there, and he's good so far. He's he, I love him. I love the way uh, Spirit looks with that kit bash uh, Duke's Tiger uh, Strike uh, Tiger Strike fatigues on. So we have another one here. Uh, I don't know what the, the what to think about this yet. This is Quick Kick. Um, his chest is protruding out a lot. You really can't see it now, but it's almost like he got titties. Uh, and uh, I don't know. That looks kind of funny, man. I'm gonna try something with him. I got some J's, some red J's uh, from Jokic, from the uh, 
you know, the uh, sports line that I want to put on him because uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a super huge fan of Quick Kick. He's okay, but I like when it comes to that karate and shit. And yeah, I love Storm Shadow. That's my guy, Snake Eyes. Quick Kick is cool. He was cool when I was a kid, man. But you know, it, it doesn't matter to me that he has bare feet. And I want to see what he looks like with them red J's on. He has red in his outfit, so we're gonna see what that looks like. And like I said, I'm gonna individually do a review of all of them. May not be long. You done seen all of these figures up and down from the past week, but they're still fairly new. And I still uh, just want to see what my take is on. How I go come at with them and just basically have fun. You know, when you come to my channel, you're going to have some fucking fun. So that's what I'm about. Uh, Big Boa. I thought this guy was going to be a rock star, but to me, he's not. He's not a bad looking figure at all. You know what I'm saying? But I just thought he was going to be a rock star. Uh, I thought he was going to be next level, and but he's not bad. I'm getting kind of like He-Man, uh, Mad Max vibes off him. I think I'd rather have him with his helmet on because he just, he looks like a big, doofy, like, uh, grunt for the mob or something. Like, some big, stupid uh, hitman or some shit like that. Like, somebody Pesci would smack. Is that what you did? I Tell him to go fuck himself you uh. fucking hit. Almost like in Casino. That dude wasn't an Italian and shit, but he was like that cowboy and shit. And he was telling me he was going to dent his fucking head so bad he wouldn't be able to put that cowboy hat on. And use his head to open the fucking door. Oh, you're not kidding me! That's, that's what this guy looks like. That's what's like a big doofus that you would tell that to that, you know, works for you and shit. Like, you're going to dent his fucking head. But that's what he uh, looks like. And uh, last but not least on the figures, we got Metalhead. I've been hearing some, like, some uh, mixed reviews on this guy. I think he looks fucking badass. Um, with him, he was a very... He was a doofus. He was a doofus. Everybody in the D cartoon was a doofus. Everybody. Everybody looked stupid. It looked like uh, Captain Planet, which I believe that's who did the uh, animation on, uh, on, on the G.I. Joe series also. But... Uh, he doesn't have that Major Blood vibe, because Major Blob, um, a blob, Major Blood was kind of like a, um, not really a doofus, but he really didn't look like somebody like Fierce and Classified totally changed that up to where when I look at Major Blood, I don't hear that high pitched voice that. Hear a little girl ace? Is that a little fucking girl? Come on, everybody! And all that shit. I just see a straight killer. And they almost could have did it with him, but just that, that facial expression he got, he still kind of looks like. A doofy, but as far as how he looks, like his layout on his uniform, he looks he looks badass. Um, looks definitely looks like worth a uh, uh, to be a deluxe figure, man. So can't wait to uh, go through this guy. And with this, I never really do this. I'm a uh, I'm gonna go through these because I actually have numerical order for once. Like I've ordered all figures from numerical order, and all these things came at once, man. Like I said, I told you guys when they get here, they get here. But shit, three different companies, Amazon. Big Bad Toy Store, Hasbro Post, that's where all these different figures came from. All G.I. Joe, all in the same day. Pre-orders charged, and they all showed up on the same freaking day, man. So that's cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a um, YouTuber, a reviewer. So um, that's why I said I wanna be more current up on my G.I. Joes. I'm never gonna try to be first. Like I said, with that Navy Diver, I looked up and kinda was one of the first to get it and show it man that shit was cool or whatnot man but uh like i said i'm here to have fun and uh as long as it's fair you know, i'm gonna try to put it up here and talk about it man see what my thoughts and feelings on it but nice haul every figure in here looks really really freaking good i'm really satisfied with my haul all from three different places man and uh stay tuned this week man and also um going to have some more of the table come i'm working on it bit by bit i've been extremely busy extremely busy for the past couple of weeks man so just trying to get it in just try to give you guys some filler on what's going on definitely have another episode of the table one more episode of the table with gi joe and then we're gonna switch over to x-man open up my sentinel army but speaking of x-men let's talk about x-men 97 first of all my thoughts phenomenal uh phenomenal cartoon phenomenal i think it was definitely an upgrade from the old one which the old one wasn't bad but it didn't need to look like the old one especially how the texture of the cartoon look and I, I don't know uh film terminology and whatnot but you know some when something looks dated that's how the old cartoon looks but that's cool it needs to stay the old cartoon has its own moments this looks like crispier upgraded um more up to speed um if i'm being meticulous they use some words like bestie i don't think bestie was out in 1997 man well nobody talking about no bestie or no shit like that i think that came with paris hilton like 2003 2004 but that's somebody being really you know meticulous but other than that man um it, it's dope it's dope cyclops finally gave my boy um cyclops uh the props he deserves 
and I like how they gave him hands in that, like that hand-to-hand -hand combat Cyclops, like pow, pow, hitting you, like, you know what I'm saying, stuffing you up, because in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, he got hands, he had some of the best hands in Marvel for just hand-to-hand -hand combat, and, uh, Captain America. Him and Captain America, I like them because when I want to get in close and really get, get body shots, head blows, things of that nature, you get those guys. And then, no, Cap Cap, can, Cap has projectile. He throw the shield. Then you can hit him with the beam or shield to get him off. You deflect and come back in with more uh, with more hand-to-hand -hand combat, man. But he had that. Show what his beams can do. Uh, concussion blast. Um, he stopped himself from free-falling. <laughs> Cause that shit was fire, and what it is, it's an upgrade of um, of the animation they could not do, or the budget they did not have in the '90s, or the technology to easily do something. I mean, that was shit 25, 30 years ago. Really, it's 30 years ago. That show came out in 1993, man. So definitely a cool upgrade uh, to the series. Um, but what also what I want to talk about, because since I'm a, such a huge GI Joe guy, this is what GI Joe needs right here. You need an upgrade like that that sticks to the original script, but bring it up to date with the animation. Bring it up to date with the action. Bring it up to date with the storytelling. And that's exactly, so far, what this X-Men 97 does, man. It kept me intrigued. It, it had me like, damn, I almost caught chills. Especially when Storm, the music, the backdrop, when uh, she was walking, you could just hear the ice. And then it, the scene totally switches up to where she's in the desert. And it's really showing her power. She picked up like 10 huge sentinels, yo, and destroyed them all, man. And that was just dope. Dope, dope show. I think G.I. Joe needs to kind of take a look at them. If they even if they're interested. But I believe you really can bring Joes back. Not the Deke shit. <laughs> the, the Sunbow. That type of content going on. And this upgrade, you know what I'm saying? Your drawings, your filmation, or whatever you call it. Great storylines. Get rid of those hot dog storylines. Pick up the storylines. Because G.I. Joe still had a serious uh, context or content to it in the 80s. But it's just still toned down for a kid's cartoon. Doesn't have to be rated R. But you can make it G.I. Joe. It was different from other Marvel comic books. When people died in G.I. Joe, they died. They stayed dead. They didn't magically come back like Morph. Okay, so you can keep people intrigued and interested. And I don't even know if anybody's young watching this X-Men 97. I, all the people in the groups, I know pretty much my age, and I'm 40, you know, watching it. And hopefully their kids are, my my, uh, my daughters are watching it a little bit. I didn't watch it so many times. And am I the only one who's watched both episodes like 10 fucking times? Like, I'm serious. I don't even mean to do it, y'all. Like, y'all wonder what happened. Let me, let me run that back. And I got kids, so sometimes it's hard for me to catch little middle pieces. But I just be wanting to... Uh, see certain scenes again like Cyclops with that first scene I wanted to see that again after the first time I seen it definitely wanted to see this uh, part when he was beaming down uh, stopping himself from free falling when the jet got blown up so dope show I think they did an A plus job they just fired the director the producer I think the director so I don't know how the hell that's gonna go I know they if he was headed a serious hand in that show I know they feel really stupid man so but G.I. Joe can take some notes uh, from X-Men 97, go and bring that original cartoon back, man. And just one more thing, like, when G.I. Joe first had his first little series, is it the mass device? Uh, with the one with Snake Eyes had the radiation. That, the way the contents of, of that and, and the texture of that film look, it almost like the movie. It looks different from when it show like, all right, okay, we're green light, now we got to pick up and do seasons. That first little series almost looks cinematic when you sit up and look at it. Just look at it. It almost looks more cinematic than the movie. You need to kind of keep that context there with that, man. So, so I swear to God, man, sometimes I wish I can just write for G.I. Joe with anything, man. Banging ass storyline, great animation. It, it, does, it doesn't take much. Everybody on some 3D shit now, so it doesn't take much to up, up the drawings and have them looking real crisp. That X-Men 97 looks like the old one, but it, it's, 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 it's up to date. It's up to date. It's it's perfect. It's it, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's really a, a chef's kiss on it, man. But what do you guys think? Did you like X-Men 97? Did you get most of these uh, releases that I got here, man? All these shits look banging, man. I can't wait to go through them and play them. Let me know. This is the Savage Land. If you can, give me a like, comment, subscribe. And we do this with a love and beauty of action figures. And with that being said, until the next time, God bless.